The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or coming to vacation, make sure you're purchasing South Carolina-grown farm products. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, joining me today on the beautiful campus of Ori Georgetown Tech and the International Culinary Institute here in Myrtle Beach is none other than Ed Dombrowski from Lee's Farmer's Market, just down the road in Myrtle's Inlet. Got a special recipe for you today. Good Ed, to see you, Bob. It's good to see you, man. I, I you know, oysters. I love oysters. Exactly. Okay? Any uh, way you fix them, I'll eat them. But that's you right. got a special recipe. Yeah, today. I do. You know, the South Carolina oysters, I got these from Seven Seas. My buddy's down uh, in Myrtle's Inlet, right down the road from us, Chris oh, and wow. uh, Henry. Look yeah. how beautiful those are. Uh, today I'm going to actually do a Manhattan-style oyster um, chowder. Oh, okay. okay. So that means it's going to be a tomato-based opposed to what we normally think of. When we think of chowder, we think of cream. Ah, so you. it's going to be a tomato-based uh, with chunks, chunks of vegetables. Okay. So awesome. we're going to start doing that real quick. We're going to get some uh, oil in the pan here, and we're going to mm. start adding our vegetables so and getting them softened. We're going to do some uh, onions. Oh, wow. We're going to do some celery. Yeah. We got some red peppers, and then we got some carrots. Well, you know, a guy from New Jersey. Right. All right, originally. All right. Chowder. Chowder. Yeah, that's it. That's right. And that, again, you know, there, you know, New England has, you know, that cream base down here. You see a lot of cream base. Yep. In the New York, New Jersey area, it's, it's mostly a tomato-based broth. Oh, wow. So what we're doing is we're going to get those aromatics going and, and let that start to, uh, to soften up a little bit. Well, okay. you know, most folks use South Carolina oysters. Right. On a saltine with a lot of salt. Exactly. You know, and, and but this is a great alternative. Exactly. I, I, lo I love a raw, raw oyster, uh, but I love like oyster stews and, and chowders and things like that. So we got that going. Now we're just going to add a little bit of garlic. Got to have garlic. Okay. Okay. Get that rolling. And all you're doing is just getting this soft because it's actually going to cook in the broth I got for you. about 45 minutes. Okay. Okay. So we're just putting all the the players all, together. All the layers together. Now yeah. we're going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of white wine. Oh, yeah. Listen, oysters do it better in wine. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> ah, man. Got that going there. Oh, that's a great. Yes. You got great that nice smell. Aroma, yeah. Okay. Now I've saved the lobster liquor. Ah. And you want to put that in for additional flavor. Okay. Oh, okay. Who would have thunk it? Exactly. Mm. We got that going there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add stock. You can use seafood stock, chicken stock, vegetable stock. I'm using a little chicken stock. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And that's starting the broth. Okay. See, all this great stuff, you notice how it quiets down. It exactly. Just, you know, just it, settles, it, it, and now right. it's just going to slowly cook. Uh -huh. I'm going to add some fresh uh, thyme. Okay. Thyme and shellfish go great together. I'm going to put a little bit of heat in there, so I'm going to put a little bit of red pepper flake. Ah. Okay. Mm. Let that go for a few minutes, and then after that, what you're going to do is now you're going to add your tomatoes. The tomatoes, as they break down, they're going to make that sauce, give that sauce the color, that, bro that red broth color. So we're going to put those beautiful tomatoes that we have down at, at Lee's Farmer's Market, and then the, the potatoes. I use Yukon uh, potatoes. I like those for this kind of, uh, um, like, broth or stew or what it may be. I got you. Okay, put that in there, and now you're going to let this cook for about 45 minutes just to let them soften up and then after that we'll, we'll add the oysters and finish off everything okay all right now that we're done and the boil's been about 45 minutes yeah you're going to shut off the fire okay and then you're going to take your oysters you're going to place your oysters in there you don't want these to be in here more than two to three minutes they want to turn white and their edges are going to curl oh really okay okay so you can put those in there yeah just put them in there real quick hmm. stir it around a little bit now you see, see how the edges are already oh, starting to curl yeah. on them? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Okay, because otherwise you overcook it. You know, this and shrimp, people a lot of times will put them in too early, and that's what happens. They overcook, and then they wonder why they're, they're like rubber. See, there's one thing that I've learned about cooking with you all over 21 years is don't overcook the fish and the meat. That's exactly. Okay. So I'm just going to finish off with a little bit of salt mm. and a little bit of pepper. Okay. Now we're ready to go, ready to plate. Oh, wow. Okay? Mm. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of this oh, look chowder. You know, those yes. are nice size. Yeah, look at the size of those oysters. Yeah, That's what I love about South Carolina Ooh. oysters. Mm. Just the size of them. Certified SC. That's right. Okay. Uh. Put that on there. And then we're going to finish off the plate. Okay. Wow. We're going to throw a little bit of fresh parsley. I got you. Bacon and oysters, you can't beat it. Top it off with a little bit of bacon, a little bit of chive, 
Mm. Lemon. Mm. And nothing like crusty bread to go with there soup. There you go. Got to have that. Right there. And there you have You have Manhattan oyster chowder. Ed, you never cease to amaze me, man. Thank you so Thank you much. Thank you very much. I tell you what. It has just been awesome having you as a guest today. And Thank folks, you. stop by Lee's Farmer's Market when you're over here at Myrtle Beach. It is awesome. You can go in there and get all the certified produce from South Carolina that you need. And as always, it's a matter of taste. Log on to CertifiedSCGrown.com and see what's fresh on your menu. We'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on supporting local South Carolina farmers and their products, visit CertifiedSC.com. It's a matter of taste.